Hello, and welcome. Morak PDX, we are playing Elden Ring. We got our next episode. Uh, I got Daniel with me, guiding me as usual. Hello. So, let's go. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Continue. <laughs> yeah, Caleb. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. oh that's all right. Mm. I think when we last left off, I was having you just kind of openly exploring this new area. All right. But there is a slumbering dragon that you should kill, and he'll give you a shit ton of XP that you can go and yeah, level up with. About it. So, which way am I heading? The brick wall is where you came from, so oh, okay. this new red area is the place you have really yet to explore. Nice. Maybe not so much. Not bad. Ooh. Damn, dude. Sit. Nope, 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 nope. over here because I thought I saw your slumber and dragon but I guess not uh, you're gonna see a few like dragon carcasses I guess but mm. the slumbering one's pretty big right okay uh no <laughs> Classic. Oh my god. Shoots out the sides. Yeah, it does have a weak spot. Yeah. So much bullshit over here. <laughs> when this game first came out, people got really mad at this area. I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> I think those guys blow up. Okay. They just like instantly died. Yeah, yeah. Alright, fair enough. I'm done fucking with them. That guy took so little damage and they hit the little dude behind it. Yeah, you definitely have to focus your attacks on him. I think they also have a weak spot on top of their head too, so like if you manage to get the high ground and drop down on them. I've, s mm. I've seen people do it, I have personally haven't done it. So, 
there's a little land bridge to your left. Well, actually, it's a crevasse. I would jump right there. Across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Another side of grace up there. Nice. All the Dragon Dogma controls are different. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet that's gonna be a little messing with you a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I think you're kind of going the right way. Oh, my. What are you looking for? My my uh, lantern. Oh, you have it equipped. If you, uh, it's in your hot menu, so if you hold triangle and press down. Nice. I feel so much better. <laughs> Definitely. I need my nightlight. <laughs> so I think the path you're going on right now actually is going to take you directly to the dragon. Yeah, that one right there on, to your right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you get the sh map shard right there. You want that? You don't even have to get off your horse to pick oh, it up. Right. It's pretty cool. So these aren't the dragons I was referring to. You could either run right past them or fight both of them. I, that I sounds, personally run past them. Sounds completely like lunacy. Yeah, just yeah, like fight I, them. I, yeah, I'd run past them. They won't chase you for very long. I think it, they might not even chase you at all. Very specific yeah. about their territory. So you're getting close. You're going the right way. I think to your left more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This also takes you to a crucial quest item, hmm. or like main story item, so it's kind of good you're doing this. That castle way up there, mm -hmm. you need to go there after you do this dragon thing. Okay. So it's kind of good. Knock, knock two, get two birds stoned with one joint thing. Oh, those are just sleeping dragons. That's... Yeah. So that's, that's it. Alright. You need to go up there and just start wailing on it, preferably in the midsection. Oh. I like... usually attack in the midsection. Because there's other dragons near it. Oh my god. Yeah. So you want to get... Yeah, get, get out of there. Oh my god. Yeah, you might have to go around. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever woke them up before. That may... Oh my god. That may go bad. Yeah, go over there and then just start attacking it in the... the yeah, in that region. You might be pretty safe over here. So... Most people use a weapon that does bleed damage because it builds up a big proc and takes out huge chunks of health. This thing does have like thousands if not millions of hit points. It's either that or poison damage or scarlet rot. They'll do damage over time just naturally. But you might, might have to change up your attacks on this thing. It's not going to fight back, but it also, it's just going to take 900 years to kill it. Cool. Yeah. You see how little your uh, uh, connection... Okay, here we go. Welcome back. All right, I can see again. 
I was just wondering if I had some like poison or something I could apply. Uh, they don't usually. I don't think they have buffs like that. No. But right. you might look at your weapons. Go back to your equipment screen. Yeah, and so anything that does bleed damage, or in the very bottom it says the passive effects. It says uh, causes bleed damage, like that. That causes bleed damage. Okay. Um. Oh, the top one. Um, you had a little dagger. Uh, yeah, that thing. It was less, but Repressive maybe I can arcane. attack faster? I don't know. Yeah, it does attack faster, which means you'll be able to build up the bleed damage faster, so just try it. Even though you don't have the stats for it, it should be alright. You might even get off a torrent so you can do faster. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. Okay. Keep, keep, keep. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Keep it. Just because you stack up the bleed proc. See that big, big chunk of health that came off? Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's what makes bleed damage so OP. I'm on a new game plus in Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah. And um, I'm thinking after I finish new game plus, I'll take a break on Dragon's Dogma and I might start up um, Forspoken. Forspoken. Yeah, Forspoken was a game that is pretty much largely considered a failure. It's, um, you play this like. Um, young black woman that go like gets transported to like a magical land and has like all this like open world parkour stuff. It's made by like the people who make Final Fantasy, um, but it has oh. like the writer from uh, the Uncharted, you know, Drake story games. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and I've seen a bunch of different reviews, and like for anybody who actually gets past the the albeit very rough first couple hours, the game does apparently get a lot better. So I don't hmm. think about giving it a try. Right on. I'm worried about those first couple hours though. Yeah. I tried the Kinda demo. Kind of felt it. about Days Gone. Oh yeah, yeah. That, Days it, Gone was hard to get going, but once it finally got going, I was pretty hooked. I agree. It it definitely has a rough early start. I did kind of like some parts of the early game, but it was very mixed because you're also kind of confused about the systems and just a little tricky. Yeah. I still would not forget about it. Before too. Right. It would have been nice if they gave you like a chance to be OP and then take it away from you so oh, you yeah, at least yeah. know what you're working towards. I agree. Yeah. That, that That's usually a very good technique. Um, Maybe overplayed a little, like, but um, I, I think it's definitely a good way to do it. And um, the other thing that I wish that they would fix is just like just getting spammed with radio messages for like mission updates immediately after yeah. completing one was just like, oh. Hey, Deke. Hey, Saint John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They should have figured out a better way to handle that. 
And like, God, it, it was so immersion breaking because you would literally have like this epic story moment, and then it's just like, oh, uh, hey, do this thing. It was like it's been like ten. Se it's been like two seconds, man. Yeah. Let me absorb what just happened. You. Yeah, like let me absorb what just happened. Yeah. I think Death Stranding was a little guilty of that too. Yes. Especially, yeah, later when you, you get all the upgrades and you're traveling so fast that so you're hitting all the event triggers. Yeah. Yeah, the, the that's really bad toward the end of the game where you're making that trek, like they make you go all the way back. And, but because you have all the infrastructure you built, you like are hitting these um, event triggers like really fast and it's just like messages. And they're, they're making it sound like it's all taking longer than it is. Oh, he did. Oh, okay. I did it. You did it. There's a Cider Grace, I think, in front of that castle. Um, further up the hill. Yeah, exactly. And there you should be able to level up. I'd, I'd level up a few levels. You might even level up your weapon first. Some. You'll have to go back to the, uh, the main hub to do that. Okay. Yeah, you got 74k. No, oh, I just do that from here, right? Yeah. Press triangle. And then press R1. R1. There you go. That'll take you to the hub. It's so much faster than scrolling across the map like yeah, all we of were us used to do. Talking about that? Yeah, like everybody forever was just like, oh no. Yeah, for months. Slower. And then somebody was like, hey, press triangle, and then you can just go right to it. And we were like, fuck! Right. <laughs> so, the blacksmith is on the right hand archway. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma. I'll still need to do. Um... Wait, which archway? The right hand most archway. This one? No. No. If you turn around, it'll be on your right hand side. Yeah, that one. Um, like, I failed a couple quests, or at least I didn't complete them in ways I meant to. Yeah. So, like, I literally am like, oh, I gotta do a whole nother playthrough just to be able to do this. <laughs> um, I hate that. Like, for example, there's there's one where you've, there's a sculptor and he, he's been hired to sculpt a griffin and he hires you to keep a griffin distracted while he sculpts it. And... Hmm. Uh, the first time we killed it, like, super fast, so he's, like, straight up, like, oh, this is gonna suck. But the mm -hmm. other time, like, I, I don't know, man, like, I was, like, soloing it, um, and not really doing much, and he was like, oh, this will have to do, and he still gets clowned by the guy, like, he's just so un unhappy with what he does, and, um, so, what you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to go find the Medusa, and cut off the Medusa head. So I tried it, and um, you're supposed to stun the Medusa and then attack its head and it should get cut off. Just couldn't fucking get it stunned. And we just ended up killing it too fast, and I was like, fuck, alright. And that's the only shot you have at it. Alright, I want to strengthen armament. Yeah. Okay. So it's level one right now. Oh, you need more smithing stones. Shit. Uh... Hmm, damn. Does he... No. Hmm. You could talk to him about the girl, Rod Roderica. And continue that quest line between the, the girls now sitting just behind you. I'm indebted to a spirit you know I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm 
sorry I doubted you. Cool. Right. Well, you're gonna have to get a ball bearing uh, and give it to the merchant lady here to be able to buy smithing stones. It's either that or find smithing stones out in the wild. So you probably should just spend all this on experience points. You okay. should talk to the blonde girl crouched there. Got it. Now that you've just talked to him about her. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Oh, she does say more. For persuading Master Hugh, I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So you'll find different spirits uh, in the game, and you can summon them to help you with like boss fights and stuff. And she can upgrade them throughout the game. You'll find a uh, glow wart like flowers, and you can use those to upgrade them. And you even have one right now. I think oh. he, she gave you the jellyfish one. Mm. Yeah. Which honestly, the jellyfish one doesn't do a lot of damage, but bosses have a hard time hitting it because it floats in the air. Mm -hmm. So some bosses have a hard time hitting it. So it's kind like of one a, that's a good distraction. Like a ag, like a, yeah, like an aggro kind of. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it's it's got its place. So, so this upgrade like would make it like tougher. Uh, I believe so. I mean, if you select it, it might tell you what it does to it. Eh, no, nah, yeah, just overall upgrades. I think it gives it a little more damage, a little more defense. That's my guess. Uh, hmm. Might, yeah. But you know. get it. You're gonna get other ones that are way better. I just think the jellyfish one's kind of neat, and some people find it underrated. But you know. Uh, yeah, it's 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 decent. Mm -hmm. You get one later that's literally a mimic of you and whatever equipment you have equipped at the time. And people will literally change their equipment, make their mimic, and then change their equipment to something else. So they have a buddy that does like magic or long ranged or you know whatever, or even talisman that make them aggro the enemy, and then they'll switch it so. The, they're aggroed to their mimic and they can go and backstab the thing. Okay. Okay. It's a pretty interesting little mechanic that uh, they added to this one. So basically, you should probably go to the side of Grace here at the table and I would, I'd just dump all of your ruins into your, uh, you know, however you want to spend your levels. Probably equally or pretty aggressively into strength and endurance and vigor. They all have soft caps at 30 and I think hard caps at like 70. So you start to get diminishing returns when you go really high with them, but you're you're in a good state where you, you're only going to get a lot of benefits from them until you get into the pretty high numbers. Did it. it may be a little less in endurance and vigor and lean into strength more so you get some more damage, you know. Yeah, yeah, 30 is a good number for strength. I think that's a pretty good setup. Okay. You'll be hitting a lot harder. I dig it. Just kill a sleeping dragon that can't defend itself. No big deal. It, it's kind of the way of the world, yeah. <laughs> so, now you don't have any ruins, or not much. Um, yeah, time to maybe go back to... Uh, maybe go kick Margaret's ass. Finally. You know? Which one's the actual... Whoops. Is it... Margaret's a little northwest of where you are. Or what are you looking for? Oh, it's up here. Yeah, that's... Right. Nope. Down. This one? That one. That's Margaret. If that's what you're trying to go to. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Watch, he just demolishes me. <laughs> uh, definitely dual wield it. So press nope, triangle. Nope. nope. Um, and R1. Nope. There we go. Yeah. Maybe summon Roger. Come on, bro. You could also maybe summon the jellyfish. Uh, oh, we've tried it. It never worked. Well, but oh, yeah. I don't know. How do I well, do hold, that? Hold triangle. Oh, yeah. The jellyfish is in the right-hand side. Try, try pressing right. You might have to do it when you're in there. Or maybe they just don't allow you to do it with this boss. I don't know. Yeah, doesn't look like it. All right, fuck it. Let's do it. Oh, damn, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nice dodge. Oof. Damn. Good shit. Oh no, that was such a good first try. <laughs> Definitely felt like you were locked in. It's got like a six foot radius on that ground impale. It's like, really, yeah. bro? But that uh, dodge you did into him was like perfectly timed. That was great. I mean, it tried a thousand times, you know, eventually. True. Yeah. I saw a Dark Souls meme today, and it was like, yeah, my 112th try on this boss, I'm going <laughs> to consider him done. It's a good mm -hmm. tactic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, Roger, we can do this. Spent all my ruins. I got nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. You've been playing Sekiro, Dodge Master. Oh, Jesus, bro. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I think you're only one-handing the uh, land. No. Try and go on R1. There you go. Should be slightly better damage, I believe. Yeah, you got my backstab. Whoop, yep. Okay. Oh, oh god, no, please stop. Ow. Damn, 
sir. Yeah, he dodges. Ow. Ow, damn. Oof. Yep, okay. Oh, man. I think you should go back to the side of Grace and allocate that blue flask to be a red flask. Okay. Because, yeah. You'd be better, better off with another red flask, I think. Okay. I kind of do that for, like, a lot of the early game. I just have all red flasks until I actually have skills that I really lean into. Oh yeah, you got two blue. Just go all red. Oh, I got you. Why? You know why not? That way you can heal just as much as necessary to get through this boss fight. And then when you get to the next side of Grace, you can allocate a couple blue. Okay. What talisman do you have selected? Where did I check? Okay. Equipment down there, so you got enhances charge attacks. Uh, you have been using a lot of charge attacks. What's what's down at the bottom? Raises holy attack but lowers holy negation. That's not good because he's using holy damage on you, so you don't want to use that. That'd make you more susceptible to it. You're not really using roar or breath attacks yet. And then the other ones for fire. So your talisman is probably the best for what you're dealing with you know if you use charge attacks it's going to boost it the final hit like if you do a lot of stranger attacks the uh, like when you're doing that charged attack that does several hits that last one's going to hit harder if you use that other talisman yeah. might be good <coughs> maybe maybe not i just couldn't remember what talisman he had Because even without the skill points, uh, you can still do the weapon arts and charge attacks. Uh, you just wouldn't be able to like cast spells. Backstab. Oh, Roger got the front, the critical attack. Which is for me. Pressure on though, and it's kind of nice having a few extra health potions. Yeah, dude, Roger's still alive, and you got him less than halfway. Oh, ouch! Okay. Ow! Still got four potions. Oh, fuck! Oh, darn! Hey. He kept the pressure on though. Yeah, I don't quite have the right timing for that triple attack. You can maybe see if you can put a shield on too, so maybe you can do some pokey pokey action and mm. soak some of that damage. What shields do you have? Oops. You need um. to get... Just, yeah, exactly. And then... Got, yeah, the heater shield blocks 100% physical damage. That's a great shield. Uh, check, no, go back to your equipment screen now. Make sure you're not fat rolling. All right. You got medium load. That's good. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think you're good to rock. Yeah, so just hold L1. Yeah, exactly. Do that, and then you might have to retreat to let your stamina bar build back up. But you can just do that and soak up a lot of his damage that he's thrown at you. And then sneak in those backstabs and critical attacks when the opportunity presents itself. When you get into the castle that's behind him, there's a tower shield that's 
probably going to be something you're going to want to use for a very long, long time after, uh, but you can't get to it without killing Margaret. Is your brain on? Are you back? I can hear you now. Oh, okay, yeah. good. All right. But I don't see the... Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. What? How'd the last round go? I didn't even see what happened. Uh, uh, I mean... I got one front stab, I think, on him. With the shield? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, my beer is giving me mad indigestion. It's not good. No. Why do we do these things? I don't know. I think we gotta eat. Gotta have, like, chili dogs. That'll fix it. No! So scary. Oops. 
Oh. Nope. Yeah. Spamming, spamming my dodge way too early. Yeah. Okay. Consistently getting him in the halfway point, but I don't know. If I was being much more careful, but really picking up those cues usually takes me a lot of attempts. Yeah. Because I did get him, like, back with the starter, like, whatever starter weapon I first attacked him with. I got him down to 10%, but that was after sheer pain of temps. Yeah. To get that kind of timing down. Mostly being kind of bold and experimental. I think That's... maybe the next one you should try doing it without Roger. Oh, right. You know, maybe it's worth a shot. Maybe he'll take it easier on you because he doesn't. you don't have a buddy. Maybe. Maybe not. Roger's pretty cool. Oh yeah. I missed it. Oh, he still got me. Terrible. get knocked down like that I start spamming dodge because sometimes it helps you get up a little faster really yeah you might have been able to get out of there a fraction of a second sooner all right with that Roger let's try
Oh least. man. Yeah, maybe Roger. He keeps him aggroed and whatnot. Unless you were getting a feel for soloing him. I don't know. It's maybe nice to mix it up a little bit. How are we doing on time? Uh, we're at 46 minutes. Hmm. Cool, cool. Did I... Okay. Oh, he still got me. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, oh, darn it. You did. Darn damn it. That's so bad. Alright. Oh yeah, um, go to your map. And then scroll. Oh yeah, no darn it. He looks like he's gone. Um, that cave that's in the middle of the map. Yeah, mm. down. Middle. Left. Up. Oh. No. No. Middle. Upright. That one. Yeah. No. No. Just to the right. That one. That one. It doesn't have patches on it anymore. It doesn't show like a little purse emblem. Nope. That's he, where you met patches. He disappeared. Damn it. Uh, go to your inventory. Literally, yeah, inventory. And then press R1. Scroll down. I couldn't, can't remember if we bought it or not. No, it looks like we didn't buy it. Darn it. There's a thing called Margaret's Shackle, and it hinders him for a little bit so you can wail on him. But it's something that Patches sells, and I think we didn't have the money to buy it at the time or something. Probably not. Damn it. Um, could always summon a rando. Hell no. Nah. Gross. Uh, 
Alright, my Gross. bad. Gross. Just throwing it out there. You're doing great. Mm-hmm. Getting him down to that last third of his health bar or even quarter. on him so Roger can keep casting his bullshit. Fall off the map, bitch. Yeah, no. I wish. Nice. Nice dodge. stamina Fuck you Yeah, you gotta heal Oh boy Oh fuck you I almost broke away, but just couldn't. Yeah. I hear you. Oh my god, really? It's a terrible time. Fail. Bastard. 
was just trying to use up the art thing, but it, I don't know, it didn't go super well. Yeah. I don't blame me, switching it up. I mean, it did some damage, but not enough. I think the main tactic is, though, is to just keep the pressure on to let Roger live as long as possible. Sure. You know, easier said than done. But no, no, of course. Then there's, like, a dash of get good. <laughs> mm -hmm, of course. <laughs> I'm going the ultra bastard way, but if you can keep him aggroed and keep Roger alive as long as possible, that's, that's definitely the goal. Hell yeah. Dodge. Get out of there. Uh-huh. Nice dodge. Heal. Damn, the thing's got reach. Nice dodge. Uh. Ooh, heal, heal, heal. Get that healing. There you go. Let your stamina get up. again when you can. Health is low. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh you were out of health anyway. Fuck my bad. I didn't well, even notice. That's the top of the I'm hour. Exhausted. So we will just have to try again. This is Morocco PDX another, with Tony and Daniel. Kitchen. Another valiant valiant effort. Mm-hmm.